Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. A paleontologist in England, Nick Longrich, recently published a scientific paper that was based on two specimens of horned dinosaurs in our collections. We're going to talk now with our dinosaur expert here to find out more. Jordan, this recent scientific paper suggests new information about dinosaur biogeography, where they lived and how far they ranged. Um, so what does this, if it is in fact Pentaceratops, tell us? Pentaceratops is an animal previously known only from New Mexico. Uh, and this specimen here, if it is Pentaceratops, would be the first example of that animal from Canada. So it looks like Pentaceratops actually had quite a wide geographic range. Um, this sort of runs contrary to what we thought previously about biogeography in North America. We thought a lot of these large plant-eating animals had very small, uh, lived in very small localized areas. Uh, in the case of Pentaceratops, though, it seems to be quite widely distributed. So how do we know that it's Pentaceratops? Uh, well, this specimen here was once attributed to Anchiceratops, and we've got Anchiceratops here. Um, you can see that there are some similarities. For example, we've got big points along, along the margin of the frill here. Um, one of the differences that we see, though, is that in Anchiceratops, uh, the back edge of the frill here is, is quite thick, whereas in this specimen it's quite thin. That's a little more typical of Pentaceratops. If we want to bring this other piece in too, we've, we've been calling this Pentaceratops as well. You can see that uh, this point in Pentaceratops uh, points upwards, whereas it curls outwards in Anchiceratops. So these are some of the differences that we look for uh, that allow us to say that, that these two specimens are Pentaceratops and not Anchiceratops. This is just one example of how researchers from around the world use our museum collections to help piece together the fossil record and advance our understanding of natural history. Thanks for joining us for this Nature Scoop. Until next time.